So welcome uh, to uh, Omnia's educational series, um, where we talk to the inventor of the Omnia radiation balancer, Dr. Ilya Lakisevic, uh, or Laki, as he likes to be known. And uh, today we're going to talk about the big one. We're going to talk about the true concept of the atom itself. Um, now, Dr. Lakisevic has a paper uh, that's been published in the International Journal of Science and Research uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, which is entitled Aton, True Cell, Atom and Particle Concept. So today he's here to talk us through all of that and the implications for the whole of the science world, uh, but also the benefits of understanding uh, this new version, this new concept of the atom and how it behaves and what qualities it has and what that opens up to us um, in terms of our research, in terms of energy, in terms of healing, all sorts of things. So it's my pleasure to welcome uh, Lackey today. Um, so Lackey, uh, welcome. And uh, yeah, if you wanna just talk at first about the benefits and then we'll get into some, some more of the deeper questions about what the true concept of the atom is. I am the I am. Lucky of free and sovereign domain. And this sounds uh, so simple, uh, is but but it is so important, it is of, of utmost importance to know self and to introduce self at the beginning always, then you express even conscious intent in any respect to introduce self as I am, I presence, I know who I am. Because uh, of the wrong teaching and wrong belief system that uh, we human beings are our body. We are taught that we are our body. But it is uh, uh, very simple to find out uh, the truth. If, if you ask yourself, why you used to say my body? Whenever you say my body, it follows logically that you are not your body. Because body would never say to self, my body. It would say, it would say me. But you, you say oftentimes, my body. That is how I have started uh, my investigation to discover myself. And uh, it, it follows that you are not your body and you should discover who you really are and what is your relation to your body. And uh, that uh, follows to the self-discovery, who you really are, what a kind of being you are, and what is your relation and how you move perception of your body. And that is huge truth. It is absolutely, it changes absolutely everything in your lives because when you, when you understand that you are not mortal, that you are not body, that you cannot die, that you are infinite and eternal being, that you are omnipotent, omnipresent and omniscient as your creator God at home is, and you, 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 you change everything in your life. You understand that is, that is mental game, mental uh, movement of perception. What your physical body is in every other situation. Like this situation now, it, it is kind of co-creation between me and him. And we have agreed in our dreams during the night to co-create this event and move mentally this perception. And everything what you do in your life you are playing some role because you are acting something. It is not real you. Real you is all there is. That is your soul, you soul, not your soul, but you soul. You are soul. What means you are uh, uh, one special desire, one special uh, passion for the creative expression. Mission, mission, uh, passion. Uh, machine is a new word. Okay, okay, and you, you are, you are, you are a spiritual being, and you are mental being, and you are proje projecting everything what is on a physical plane mental. In other words, everything is happening within you. You are unlimited. You are the universal content. You are all there is, and that's amazing. I said beautiful. You can laugh about all other circumstances when you know that you are changeless because you are made perfect 
it's and, and there, like a there breakthrough. Is, there is, sorry. It's there like a breakthrough more, in your more, in your perception of your reality, um, and it's necessary because we're going to come on to this um, that that we need to understand the un, how energy works in a different way in order for us to understand the true concepts that you're going to present to us. And just in, incidentally, on that note, I was out to dinner last night with a guy who'd had an, a near death experience, and he'd left his body, and he could see his body with you know, this consciousness. Um, and that's the point where I said to him, yeah, well, you're not your body. You, you, you are this, this consciousness that, that sits within that body. And that body is therefore kind of like a machine that's being, been given to you to operate. And then you make, like you said earlier, you make choices within that body, you make uh, decisions that affect your, uh, your, your soul mission and your destiny. Right? Yeah, of course. Of course. And uh, when you discover yourself, then it fol follows, then you are no one. You are knowing it. You know everything. And that is question now, uh, if you are aware of that, what you know or not, but you can expand and evolve and enrich that everything. In my opinion, in my opinion, the very first step to do that is realization of the de deception of the human senses. And that is evolutionary step that is huge quantum leap in consciousness that you understand that uh, your senses my senses human senses are deceiving us by delivering us upside down of the truth and we are taught and we believe uh, that we should trust our senses and there is a saying uh, trust your eyes and I challenge that always, trust or not, not trust. Remember just a very small example, railroad tracks, which seems that they are crossing on the horizon far away from you, but you know there are still parallel there. Are your eyes ideal? Of course, it's a small example. There are many others and you can find uh, a lot about uh, it in my, in my article published recently in the in the International Journal of Science and itself uh, about that new atom, atom, uh, cell, atom, and particle concept. Uh, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, uh, the cardinal error in the science it is uh, omission of the creator from his creation, because you have official model of atom an official model of universe, Big Bang, and there is nowhere created. I, I started to talk about deception of the human senses and the realization and recognition why and how, and, and then uh, realization uh, uh, and, and uh, the difference between information and knowledge. Because everything what our senses are delivering to us is information. What I receive through my eyes and through other senses is causing some electrical impulse, which goes through the nerves into my brain. And then mind decides who is controller of the brain, uh, what the brain should do with it. So move my hand or whatever. So it, it is also uh, wrongly believed in the, in the science, especially in the medicine, that brain thinks, th think with the brain, that brains is so important because of the, that uh, uh, possibility, ability to think. Brain has nothing to do with, with, with thinking. Brain is storehouse of these informations, information which we receive through the senses. And then everything is stored there. And when I see uh, some color and I say immediately green because uh, it associates me uh, on, on green or, or something like that it is there and brain uh, brain then fulfills uh, commands from the mind what to do with the incoming information so please understand don't trust your eyes you should really uh, if you want to know if you know, want to spring into the quantum state of being into the higher uh, higher state of being into the knowledge knowingness into the quantum state of being into the cosmic 
uh, consciousness of knowing, then you have to become aware of the perception of your senses, and then always link that what your senses receive and perceive linked to the mind to tell you the truth. And it calls, you should go out of the electrical awareness of, of your senses into the cosmic uh, awareness, cosmic consciousness of your mind, uh, which knows the truth and can, you, can tell you the truth. And that is a huge, huge step. And without conscious realization of that step, nobody can pro progress and evolve. It is evolutionary step. You evolve as a human being. Uh, at the moment, you go out of the, of the electrical awareness of your senses into the cosmic awareness of your mind. So you go into, out of, of deception and wrong information, which are upside down, into the knowingness of the mind, and then you know the truth and the knowledge. And that is an absolute requirement. Nobody can escape, escape it. Who wants to progress as a being? And, and that's exactly what your um, uh, hero Nikola Tesla used to do, right? He used to go into that realm and, and, then, and then dial into the truth um, by sort of absolutely. bypassing the, the human senses and, and into that sort of higher truth, if we can call it that, um, that gives us um, the real answers, uh, which is the knowing rather than the seeing. Um, yeah, great. So um, do you want to introduce what your true concept is for the atom? Uh, yes, I have, I have realized that I'm a scientist and I love science and I love a scientific methodology which I accepted during my scientific career more than 25 years. Uh, when I have realized that many concepts in the science are wrong and then have this, uh, went out of the science and have decided to investigate on my own and to find out the truth. So um, uh, I, I found also in official science uh, many many discoveries, many, many, many inventions that relate uh, to the right concept, but that were uh, wrong interpreted. So mm -hmm. even in laboratories, we can see what is electric current, what is atom, and there are recordings. So I, I have decided um, uh, then to, uh, to prove uh, that uh, right concept of the atom experiment. And the first step, and the first step which everybody can repeat, is take a, take a copper ring. And today I want to show you a small experiment and to show you the principle of electric current which is not understood in our civilization and in our society and in our science. Although our civilization can be considered an, a civilization of electricity. Everywhere is electric power in use. And that concept of electric current, of electricity, is not understood in the science because of the impossible concept of the electrostatic unit uh, of charge, which is electron. So, uh, this material universe is uh, motion and that is motion simulates rest, the universe at rest. So nothing static can be in this material universe. So uh, the so-called electrostatic charge unit uh, does not exist. And all about electric current is explained, uh, unfortunately, uh, wrong. So, uh, I brought here uh, one empty vessel, nothing in, and then I brought uh, uh, demineralized water, bought somewhere in the store. I will open it now for the first time, as uh, you see. opening and uh, I'll put water into this vessel okay is enough so uh, then I have a ring cop 
copper ring which is uh, connected to welded uh, uh, and nothing more and you see I place this copper ring into the water and there is nothing more here e except water and copper ring and here I brought a multimeter as uh, you see zero it is uh, here set on 200 millivolt DC so I try to reach with here this uh, uh, the, the, the middle of this ring and the, the plus the red one on the on the ring Do you see one, once, once more you see there is electric current but it, it is not stable because I cannot hold it uh, precisely and so it is changing but in any case you see clear, clearly that I have measured electric current and the question is from where comes that electric current according to the official science uh, it could not be explained because nowhere uh, come the electrostatic charge units here from where nowhere there are no electrostatic charge units here there is no, no source of electrostatic charge unit it cannot be explained with electrostatic charge units and I now share something what is new and not known and that is that principle of electric current is following whenever we reach and succeed to divide uh, one uh, a balanced condition, one equilibrium condition into opposite pressure conditions then the motion is imperative between these pressure conditions in order to interchange their polarities to find back, come back and define the balance and that is the very reason uh, why everything in the universe of the of the motion is moving and what is electric current so in simple words it is expansion compression sequence and that is here uh, the case water is balanced and when I placed uh, the ring inside I divided into the water inside the ring and outside different pressures and then appear the electric current and I, I have measured it so there will be more uh, to explain about this uh, and to understand that every motion is an electric current so in this universe of motion everything is electricity and electricity is tool with which creator is creating this material universe so uh, uh, in my uh, next videos I will show more about these principles I will explain principle of gravity or magnetism and uh, other principle uh, concept of mass of light of everything else but for now to understand the principle of electric current I thank you very much for your attention ring of copper and place it in a water in some uh, ceramic container or made of is is isolator and then place one uh, one pin of the of the multimeter in the middle and other one on the ring and you will find electric car there is right. nothing there except copper ring and water and you measure electric current on on the ring as a difference in the potential in the center of the ring and on the ring itself and when you when you see the clearly existence of electric current then every every scientist every serious scientist would ask self why this current how it comes out according to the official uh, scientific concepts this current uh, could not exist it, it should it come from the electrical grid right it should come from the power <laughs> grid right it and does yet, not come. Yeah. there is no electrical grid there is only water and copper ink yeah nothing more mm. so but there is electrical current uh, and then i have decided uh, to make a little bit more precise measurements and to test 
and find out that that centering point in in the copper ring in the center of the copper ring is a point of zero electric potential is a point of stillness is a point of balance as is a point which is the source of energy from which co uh, those uh, those uh, mm, uh, light waves do, do, those li light rings are borrowing energy to spin around the copper ring and that is electric car moment of the of the light rings uh, uh, around the, the copper ring and that is electric car and then i have uh, done that, uh, that, that that measurement and interpreted the results and uh, that is everything in my paper to find in details but i will i will explain that in simple words so i have measured that in the center of the copper ring when i placed inside uh, sodium chloride which is a balanced entity so that i knew that the center must be in the geometric center balanced entity means uh, i knew that uh, chloride uh, sodium and chloride are are uh, so to say thin flames and when they build a, a compound that is the balanced entity that is why we cannot eat a lot of salt just a little salt is enough because it's a balance it's a huge energy yeah. so and then then, then I, I made the measurements and found found uh, that in the middle is a really that zero point steel balance point which is source of energy and from which these rings uh, which I have measured as electric current are borrowing energy in order to move, move in order to speed. And then, then, uh, then I, I have evaluated that and I gave uh, the name uh, to this uh, right uh, cell uh, atom and particle concept ATON, A T O N, because uh, honoring. Uh, the inventor, so to say, of that concept, God at all. Uh, so it is his concept. I proved that, that experimentally. So, and uh, 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 there are also other measurements in the official science, uh, the black holes. They have measured recently in the center of galactic, our gal galaxy, also uh, the black hole. And, uh, and uh, uh, that proves also that uh, uh, the laws of the macro and micro are the same, not a different. So that mm. uh, that let call that still point of uh, of spirit, God, Creator, uh, mind, call uh, how however you wish it, but it is the source of energy, and from that that is the controller of every motion, and then. And then I knew, I knew before I started this experiment uh, that uh, there are no electrons as they are described in the science. Because it is, electron is described as a negatively charged particle. Negative charge is a nonsense, has no meaning in English. It would mean uh, added to by subtraction. Right. That's impossible. You charge cannot charge increase, anything. Right? Charge yeah, is negative. negative. Yes. You can't have a negative there is charge. Yeah. yeah, there is charge and there is discharge. Negative charge does not exist. And 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 furthermore, uh, I have understood that, that this uh, material universe of motion is simulation of the uh, still universe at rest. We are, we are experiencing, or say we are living in two universes simultaneously, the universe of cause which is still balanced, motionless, changeless, uh, which is source of the power, source of, of, of the energy, and the material universe of motion, which simulates by motion that rest and that balance hmm. with imbalance. So uh, every piece of matter is actually condensed light, which simulates that still light of the universal mind which is that universe of motion and which is called wrongly in the science magnetism. But never mind, never mind. Uh, uh, let, me, let me just recap just so that we can, yeah. we've got that sort of like completely understood. So ultimately there is a still magnetic point at the, on the, at the geometric center of each atom. Um, and the atom consists of light rings that pull out the energy from the zero point, which is magnetic field, um, to spin around that zero point, 
Um, and we're going to get into the phases of that spin. But ultimately, because every atom, every piece of matter or, and, and every atom um, behaves in the same way and dials into that still magnetic point in the middle, um, that still magnetic point, which is connected to all of the zero points or magnetic points within every atom, that is like the other field that, um, that we, we, we fail to recognize right now in science, which is effectively the God field, the creator field, because every atom dials into that zero point to pull out itself, its life, its, its motion, uh, the spin of that electrical current. So that's uh, that. I just wanted to sort of, you know, basically yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. put that down as our building block. Uh, before wonderful. we move into wonderful. kind of the more the more phases about how that light ring or that electrical current then behaves um, as a, as a spinning ring of light around the zero point. Yes, there are uh, there are elements which are uh, one light ring, two light rings, three light rings, and uh, the only one element in the nature which integrated all these light rings into the true sphere is a carbon. Carbon okay. is a pivotal element uh, in the nature, is the highest melting point, highest potential. And uh, carbon is a really expression of the idea of matter, real, right. because all other elements are stages or phases to that uh, carbon carbon stage. Uh, so carbon is, is, a, is a real wonder. Uh, and those uh, also need not put on the proper position in the periodic chart of elements. One should find by Walter Russell uh, the right periodic chart of the elements where, where carbon is placed on the 26th uh, position and hydrogen on 18th position. Uh, science is missing all the 17 elements before the hydrogen and it's placed the, the hydrogen on the first place. You, right. you will be amazed uh, who really, who, who, all of you who, who, who like truth and want truth and so go and read Walter Russell, the universal one, the secret of light, the atomic suicide. It has been published more than, uh, around uh, almost 100 years ago, 1926. Yeah, almost 100 years ago, and but it was removed. Okay, but now, now, now we we, we have found it and, and and want to give a recognition and honor to Walter Russell, who brought these concepts and this knowledge to this planet, and and we want also to to stay uh, stand on his shoulders and expand it and see further. Okay, that's a normal and usual way. I'm now connected with spirit and such a streaming because mentioning that recognition and honoring Walter Russell for who yeah. does it 100%. So the and most the most important incarnation of all times because he brought the knowledge and knowledge is so important. Only knowledge can make people free. You people cannot become free with, with any material wealth on material possession on anything else except with knowledge. Knowing self first and foremost, and knowing right concepts, right concepts, and right equations and laws of creation, and then, then you will recognize uh, your passion, your mission, your mission, and live happy life, uh, expressing yourself self creatively in your field of mm -hmm. of of interest. In what is your talent? That is your soul. What is you soul? Yeah. That is you so so but just about that um i mean that obviously if the atom um dives into the magnetic zero point to pull out the light ring then it it, it comes out with intelligence right there's there's intelligence in every atom and and that is what we're talking about here in terms of like you know you mentioned earlier on about the self um and the fact that you know our bodies are these incredibly intelligent uh, intelli intelligently designed machines that operate almost like without our, um, our our control. You know, I often say, you know, I don't I don't tell my fingernails to grow, but I also don't tell my body how to breathe in and, and take oxygen into all the cells, or I don't tell I tell my body I don't tell my body how to digest its food. This is this is all examples of divine intelligence running the operating system of the body, Absolutely. right? So, and Absolutely. it does that by dialing into that zero point and coming out with the, the, the right thing to do, right? 
Um, talk to us a little bit about that because we're talking about nature's laws here, aren't we? We're talking about laws that repeat themselves in our bodies, in a table, in a tree, you know, in, in other animals, etc. Yeah, that's, that's, that's wonderful. Thank you, Tim. Uh, and now realization that the, uh, every cell of my body is made of light rings centered by that divine intelligence. Let's call it divine intelligence, which responds to my consciousness, to my intent. It opens up so amazing possibility that you can talk to that point, which is centering one yourself, because every point, still point, is the same point. Hmm. The whole universe at rest, the divine intelligence in, is made of the same point. Right. So, and, and, and a point which is waiting for you to, to express your intent and tell that point what to do for you, for your body. Hmm. And that is what you are actually do, doing unconsciously every single second. Because every your thought is, is recognized by that divine intelligence and every your desire is fulfilled. And that is why you should take big, 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 big attention and care what you say to yourself. Never judge yourself because that centering point, that divine intelligence does not know good and bad, knows only your desire, your wish, and fulfilling that. Spirit sitting there, is that just fulfilling when you, when, when you say, for example, oh, I, I will get a disease. Ah, spirit says, oh, this guy wants disease. I will give him disease. Right. Or you decide, I want health, healthy body. And uh, spirit says, oh, this, this, he wants healthy body. I give him healthy body. How? Because every your thought, every your intent is recorded in your DNA and then continually permanently projected in your body. Your body is electric record of that what you think, of your thoughts. So uh, just like if you would take a, a, a camera and go and, and record the scenery and it is changing and you record it and you watch it, that is the same with your DNA. DNA is, is a somehow mystified in the science, there are genes and DNA and uh, strengths and that is simple that is that uh, uh, thought pattern two dimens dimensional thought pattern from which your body is made is continuously been changing and it opens up now uh, being aware of this 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 knowledge of this truth of this fact it opens up possibility for new healing without using anything from outside closing your eyes Make conscious breathing, connect with spirit with it, and ask spirit to balance your your kidneys or whatever, or your whole body. Doesn't matter. It's talk to yourself, talk to your body, and it goes into manifestation. Why? Your thoughts are expressed in words, and your words are recorded in your DNA, and that is what is recorded in your DNA goes back on your body as a changes, and obviously. You like positive changes, of course, not negative, not diseases, not uh, illnesses, nothing. You, you like a perfect body, balanced body, and ask for it, and, and you will get it. Actually, you get always on a body that what you wish, and that is that is why that is the huge manipulation and main, main manipulation, manipulation is in mind, because those who are teaching you how to think and what to think, and I would be very concerned about their intent before and, and I the, accept, the, yeah, I accept absolutely. what they suggest. So we'd be very mindful of, of what we're thinking and, and any traps that are being laid for us to, to go into negative thought patterns and, um, and then be destructive in our thought patterns, um, you know, whether it be, I don't know, jealousy or envy or hate or whatever it is. Uh, then those those energies don't serve us on the inside because of that zero point connection and then the manifestation within the body as an electrical record. Um, it, fascinating. Yeah. It starts every morning when you get up and you look your face in, in, in the mirror and say, yeah, wonderful morning, good morning, wonderful day. I'm ready for something beautiful, nice experience today. And you choose that every day. 
like, like that. And, and always never judge yourself or any of your circumstances other than good. Hmm. The moment you judge them good, you will change your reality. Although it seems that is not good for you. Take it good and it will guide you to some other track and you will find later why it was good to charge it good to bring you forth and to bring you on, on, a, on a, some other track which is more convenient for you. Never, ever judge any circumstances and especially yourself. It, n just good, just good. Mm. I used to say always, you have never heard from me when people ask me, how are you? I say always, I'm best, I'm wonderful, I'm super. And that, that manifests in my reality then. Yeah. And, and any circumstances, I say always, it's good, it's good, it's okay. It's good. There is good in it, and I will see later what was the good in it. And really, it turns out later that it was good because it brought me to some other realization, to some other knowledge, to some other situation. And then I have realized that it was good. And mm. that is simple wisdom. It's not, not a big issue to, to understand it. That they start using it in the time. Understand the first of all that you, your whole body is centered by the divine intelligence, which is listening and recording your thoughts back into your body. Right. And then you choose, and that is what your free will is. God creator made you in his own image and gave you the same what he has, and that is free will. What you decide will be projected on your reality, on your uh, uh, life situation, on your body. And when you now know that you can choose and choose consciously really what you wish. And then regarding the healing, regarding the healing, my contention is that all diseases on the physical body are consequences of the consciousness diseases because we are experiencing uh, an upside down evil civilization taking mode where we are uh, we are always uh, about to take more than to give and that is uh, everywhere promoted at the universities colleges and everywhere that, that is kind of making a business that taking more than giving is a violation of god's love principle mm. which says equal giving and re-giving. We have discussed, Tim, about re-giving. That, that word does not exist. But re-giving, give refers to me. When I give, and what comes to me, I re-give the same. Equal giving and re-giving. What you send me, I re-give you. Right. And that is, in both cases, it refers to me. That is why the same, equal giving and re-giving. Re God's a love principle, rhythmic balance interchange in everything. And when you, then you create balance situation. There are no, there is no rest. There is no chaos. Well, let's talk and, about, um, let's talk about that balance because it's really important um, to everything being uh, still or at peace, I should say. Um, and it's a good way to introduce the, uh, the, the, the phases or the motion uh, of the light rings, right? The, the compression into the matter and then the discharge or the radiation or, um, you know, you can, you can tell us more about this, but the two phases of motion that the light ring goes through. Yeah. So, so why don't you talk about that and when they're in yes. balance and, and the rhythmic balance yes. change? Uh, well. uh, I, I would like to simplify the process of creation so that everybody can understand it. First of all, you must understand and accept that process of creation is mental process. It is, it is imagination. It is uh, a consequence of thinking. What and how I create? I imagine a light ring, a ring which occup occupy huge volume of space, huge volume of space, and compress it in my thoughts, turning that, uh, that ring uh, and uh, uh, reducing the diameter of it and, and, and reducing the volume that that ring occupies until I, I compress that occupied space into the 
is incandescent sphere of matter. And uh, then matter has been created. And now then is, there is reversal point, turning uh, 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 tipping point, point where compression uh, goes into expansion. And expansion uh, always happens into the plane, which is normal to the plane of compression, which is equatorial. And then what is compressed must be expanded back into the space. And that is one cycle of creation and very simple explain. What I compress, I must expand because none of it can, can, can exist. It is my imagination. Understand that this, uh, what your sense is delivered to you, I, I'm, I'm about to create an ideal I when I, when I come into, into, when I get some money, uh, I will take uh, 10, 12 cameras and uh, uh, create an ideal I and let you team uh, go into that cabin and then you will see that your body does not exist. And when I open the door, you will walk out. Your body will walk out. <laughs> wow. and then, really, it does not exist if we had the ideal eyes to see up, down, behind, and everything. It does not. Only because our senses are not ideal, they perceive forward movement in time and not backward movement in time, which voids every single uh, step on the way, that forward movement of time, so that nothing exists except that reality uh, infinite eternal reality which god creator spirit mind is source so, so, so let me get that and, and that is so, all mental game here mm. that so is we're, we're projecting game. forwards our our reality right uh you know if i want to walk up the stairs i i project forwards all of that action and my bodily uh, movements to get me up the stairs, right? But that's an imagination process that, that ultimately directs all of the cells and the, the, the muscles in my body to move up the stairs, right? But we never see the counterpart to that movement, which is basically that there is, as, as you were describing there, there's two phases. One is the compression where, where basically the matter forms itself. And then the other one is the expansion where it gives back to the ether so that the, the, the vast ether um, etheric field is, is compressed into one single atom, which is there and present and as an electrical current. And then it just discharges itself or expands itself back to, um, to that, to that universe or that ether ether. And, there's that process where it's flicking on and off, right? On and off all the time. So it, it's making itself, discharging itself, making itself, discharging itself. So it's life, death, life, death, life, death. And so it's, it's literally almost like a movie, right? It's, it's flickering on and off. It's, so It's a movie, so our, it's a movie. <laughs> yeah, our, our bodies, and, and this is interesting because it, it, it leads us into that whole understanding of the holographic universe, right? The, the holographic universe. And that's, that's what I want you to talk about as well, because you know a lot about that. So, so yeah, just explain yeah, a bit more about the holographic universe and the fact that there's this other side, this other plane, the, the kind of expansion or the discharge uh, plane that we don't see. So therefore we, we're seduced by understanding that our reality, this body, everything is the only reality, whereas actually there's more to the universe yes, than that, yes, the holographic yes, universe. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, okay, oh, okay, that, that uh, uh, there is a uh, discovery of the quantum physics that the whole universe is a hologram. And the unique feature of a hologram is that every, piece of a hologram contains the whole information of the whole. And I, I would not go here into details, but that division of the whole into the parts is a cause of the illusion. Because uh, it is not the same uh, division uh, as if I would take now an apple and divide into four pieces and no one of these pieces would be equal to the apple. That is true. But keep in mind that what you divide is infinite and eternal. And now write a simple mathematical equation. Write infinity divided, let's say, 9 billion people is equal what? Infinite, infinity, eternity. So it follows that every human being is as infinite, as eternal, eternal as a creator. 
because the result of that division into parts of the infinite and eternal reality into parts is also infinite and eternal, every part, each part. And when you realize that you are infinite and eternal being, that you have unlimited potentials as a God creator, then you go freely into life and, and enjoy your, your mission, your passion. Enjoy so we've, your we've, passion. we've got these bodies that are given to us by, you know, the, the, the divine creator, creator right? We, that they're given to us. And then we've got these minds or, or souls that might come from another plane that drop down into these bodies and then come in for the soul mission and the soul understanding and the soul uh, growth and, uh, and progression. Um, and that mentalness, mental side of us, is what's um, operating our bodies, making decisions, um, and um, and being in either like, acting on free will, basically. Uh, whether you want to hate someone or love someone or whatever, it's up to you. That's your choice to to go into those uh, energies and 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 experience uh, different situations. Um, and all of the time those situations are being recorded back uh, from the mental process into your body uh, and, into your, and into your reality. They make you who you are. But as a single being, you are just part of a big whole, right? You're not, you're, you, you, you know, like you're saying, you're not your body. You're just basically in that body and that body belongs to a bigger holographic whole. Am I right about that? Yeah, yeah, quite right. Uh, because you, you, you know, the, the, the only reason we are projecting mentally, I would say, our bodies here in this uh, dense 3D reality, most dense reality, is to learn uh, only one lesson, is to turn our light side, our essence, God's essence, to my brother and to my sister. Mm. And during the, the evolution of human beings on this planet, a planet, a beautiful planet. Uh, we have, uh, we we used to turn our dark side to our brothers and sisters, and that is why there were so many wars, and so many pain and suffering, and everything else. And now, finally, uh, we have started to recognize uh, that uh, peace can only be man maintained if we. Uh, love our brother and sister and turn our light side, our God's essence, our soul's essence to my brother and sisters. And, and then and then we can progress uh, as a human being toward that uh, uh, final goal to come back to the source, to what means actually to become uh, uh, perfectly balanced. As long as we hate, as you said, or uh, anything else except love unconditionally accepting uh, without judgment. Uh, we have failed to pass that exam and we incarnate again and again to learn that, that the only lesson. But uh, good news, good news is that we have succeeded after 10 failed civilization in the 11th uh, attempt, we can succeeded, have succeeded in uh, 1987 of August, on August 17th to pass the marker and to uh, uh, go into the next cycle without destruction. And that is for the first time in the history of mankind on this planet, there were 144,000 souls incarnated who were for the peace, for balance, for freedom. And then we have entered a new cycle uh, and nobody can stop. And uh, as a reward, we got uh, in support that new energy with consciousness, new consciousness energy uh, which uh, unit is a deca or the deca is a 12-sided uh, dodecahedron with that uh, the divine intelligence point that still point in the middle and that still point and that whole unit which is balanced in, in itself listen to me and my conscious intent and can fulfill, fulfill any my conscious intent if I know how to address and how to talk to that point and that is that is now uh, era of unlimited potentials because that point is omnipotent. It can everything. It can balance everything and produce everything. And my belief, my strong belief, it, it can produce also light and, and, and heat without electricity. 
it is it not replaces, the, it replaces the electrical grid. Yeah. Yeah, be, be, because do you see everywhere cables here around uh, uh, how God is created? Creating? No, nowhere cables, but created sun. Such a huge and almost uh, source of heat or, or, or of light without cables. So we can do it also, but we start now to learn how to create without without electricity, without cables. And it, it is also possible. I'm just pioneering with it. It makes me such a joy and I'm happy when I'm experimenting with it and progressing. And I have made one, one device which contains only conscious internet and that is the radiation balancer, only a radiation balancer. As far as radiation balancer does matter, it's the same. I do not feel separation between me and you. We are one, we are brothers. So it's the same. Uh, so uh, it that sticker, that sticker contains only my conscious intent and permanently it is recorded there. And the spirit, I, I can say it's me, my spirit is sitting there and fulfilling that balancing the radiation permanently, uh, or or performing some other other also issue the the new the new sticker. Uh, but which can... but what, what's really important because this this underlines or or uh, or proves all of the concepts that we've been talking about is that um, what you've discovered about radiation fields is that there is an imbalance in all radiation fields where. You know, when we were sort of drawing that zero point being in the middle of the uh, of the atom, particle, and cell, with a radiation field, it's not in the middle. It's moving from the the the, the middle, and it's dragging the light ring around with it. So it's an imbalanced uh, wave field, um, and the reason for that is because of the conscious human intent that's imprinted in the electrical grid and the radiation field. Um, so. Talk to us a little bit about how our free will can actually um, make its way into a creation that we create. Because I mean, I can I can write a love song or I can write a song about killing your friends or something, you know, and I can go out and hurt someone or hug someone, you know. So all of these intents are either dialed into kind of balance and therefore represent love or can represent other things in this planet of free will, such as greed or slavery or oppression or something like that so tell us what you found out about the radiation field which is the reason uh, why it harms us okay okay of course with pleasure uh, everything is about connection with spirit when you are in the state of connection with spirit then you will perform only balanced actions and which will reward you with balanced reactions action and reaction are equal and opposite one is giving from you outward expression that is action and reaction is uh, inward expression coming to you that what you gave up so uh, uh, everything it, it, that is why the conscious breathing on a, any other kind of connection with spirit within uh, successful of course uh, it is so important because spirit motivates you and guides you to, 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 to perform only balanced actions. There will be no hate, no, no patches, no anything else except uh, love and, and appreciation and also uh, uh, appreciation of the free will of other human beings and understanding that all human beings are uh, souls in evolution so that, that, that this planet is a kind of, of a classroom like in the school and we are all in in different classes uh, first class second and so on some are graduated and some are doctors and masters and so on but some are beginning and uh, that, that is that is normal process and uh, to 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 understand that is all about the balance so understanding that uh, every atom of, of the of the radiation let's say a microwave radiation is a consisting of light rings with a centering point in the middle if that centering point is in the geometric center and that radiation is balanced that is sun radiation the sun's radiation yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. of course of course but Artificial radiation in this civilization, all artificial radiation, and especially microwave radiation, is imbalanced because of the intention 
of those who are creating these devices and this uh, the radiation for some other than good purposes with some other than good intention mm. and that intention spirit sitting there is listening to their intention and fulfilling their intention spirit does not know good and bad does not judge it good or bad no it does not yeah and we must be fully aware that we are creating that challenge of imbalanced radiation all around us because we are co-creators of it and understand one simple thing in the life it's a simple wisdom everything what you experience now is that what you really really wish what you really really love so if we as a civilization as a humankind here now experiencing that uh, that deadly radiation and harmful radiation that is because we have wanted to experience it and again there is a good in it in my opinion good in it is uh, for us to learn uh, conscious creation and consciously balance it and then and then 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 uh, extend and expand that conscious creation uh, on other fields of, of human human life on human creativity here not only on radiation so that is a challenge it's a good challenge it's a good example how we can learn to balance any circumference any circumstances any situation including any radiation because never forget i am omnipotent omniscient omnipresent being you are the same every human being so omnipotent what it means it means i can everything how how start asking how 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 and then answer comes spirit will teach you and guide you how connect with spirit that is my recommendation that is my because it's my experience when i have started that connection with spirit everything opened in my life and i i i, I got a teacher walter russell uh, nikola tesla saint germain jesus and many others and i have uh, uh, how to say i have progressed in the measure of my openness and connecting a connection to the spirit and my desire to progress and it is only me who can limit me there are no limits with this new conscious energy uh, the whole civilization will be transformed uh, slowly and painlessly into the civilization of peace and freedom and that is an ongoing process because there are everyday new souls who, be, who are becoming aware of their importance because every your soul is recorded and also manifested in this reality and that is why it is important whenever you meet some some uh, tensions or some bad situation send your good thoughts and send your good will and good wishes and new energy knows then it is all around you and it goes and balances it on a most appropriate way do not give agenda so which is are, why it's super important when we're confronted with something like 5G, you know, which is being beamed at us. And what I see a lot on Facebook, for example, is lots of people going, oh my God, they've put a cell tower up and this is going up here and look at these trees that are dying and all these things. But that's when we're in a space of, of fear and, um, and victimhood, right? Whereas we could be waking up every morning and basically just saying a little prayer about how we wish to replace 5g with something yes, that is in harmony with yes. the rest of the planet and yes. so it is you know and and that makes a massive difference doesn't it it's not it's it's difficult yes. to measure but um but the, the the waves that are sent out are significant right and and that for me that's why we've got to change our attitudes towards how we address the 5g situation so instead of getting all scared and going oh it's apocalypse level event and all these things uh, we have to change it inside right i, I will give you some proof of, of those changes because uh, with becoming aware of who you are then you you start vibrating your body starts vibrating uh, with higher and higher frequencies and uh, uh, planet earth, it, it, earth is responding to our vibration and goes into synchronization with our uh, vibration of the mass consciousness so is in the schumann frequency is increasing 
Schumann frequency is actually easy to understand. That is the frequency in which Earth is compressing and expanding. Right. And that is all that is. And there are different explanations and not understanding what it is. And that increases now is over 40 hertz. With increase in the mass consciousness of the uh, more and more incarnated souls on this planet. And when the center of the spirit, that is V, merges the center of the earth, what will come, then there will be stop in motion. And there will be five days where we will all be face the creator and face the true love and we will get new definition of the love and that will be an amazing amazing event uh, in evolution of every soul and we are approaching to that point uh, and i i i'm i'm uh, so excited about it and i i can share more about it why we came here and how we came and what is uh, our role we are we are caretaker of, of this planet mm. it is given to us to take care about it and uh, uh, do, do you see what have we have done here? Yeah, <laughs> we, and, have and destroyed, we, we have destroyed everything what was possible to destroy. Yeah, <laughs> and, okay, it's a mental game. It's a mental game. We can fix it also. We, we've been controlled, haven't we? we our minds have been um, moved sure. into accepting um, systems and programs and everything else that don't serve the earth, uh, but you know we've been told that they serve us. Um, and the electricity grid is a classic example of that, you know, that, that whole system whereby it's like the master-slave um, relationship. And right now, it's the only thing we know is that we, we have to plug our electrical appliance, uh, appliances into the wall to get power. And we have to pay someone for that power. And that's the only thing we know. Whereas there might be an alternative and there might be a different way of doing things that might be more Conscious. in accordance. Conscious with conscious instant manifestation of all needs is possible yeah. conscious instant manifestation of all needs is possible that is new era and when you when you talked about atom and that centering point still point uh, of the divine intelligence there then every atom one simple single small atom is a source of unlimited energy because that divine intelligence point is a source of unlimited energy. If he knew how to get out, uh, to create appropriate that, that as advanced civilization in the new universe know to do it, we would be able also to grow out of it unlimited energy. From we can one get single there. atom. We can get there. Yeah. Yeah, of Absolutely. course. We can get there. Yeah, but, but, but step by step we are we are evolving and growing step by step. It doesn't yeah. go overnight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we've got this new understanding of what energy is. And, you know, one of the things that you talk about is that everyone gets it wrong when they say the energy field, you know, the energy field of the body or something like that. But there really is only one source of energy, which is that. creator. Field. That is spirit. That is that still point. It is source of energy. That is energy. Yeah. Energy yeah. is a stillness of the universe of rest and exists as a potential for anything else. The moment you, you, you create with energy, you take energy and you turn it into some form, you create an electric potential. Mm -hmm. Everything what is in the universe of, of, of the motion is electric potential. Yeah. Is electric potential. That is expressed energy. Energy expressed in, in a form is electric potential. You create a, a one, from one balance condition, one uh, pressureless condition, you create one pressure, imbalance condition. A measure of that pressure and imbalance is electric potential. That is how we call it. it and and then, 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 then you express energy. It is no more energy. There is belief in the science that there is energy on, in matter and equivalence of energy. No, there is no energy in matter. Energy, once expressed and given to form, it never stops because when it runs back to the, to the, to the thought pattern, to the, to the seed, it will be again expressed in some form, mm. depending on, on, on the desire of us who are creating. And one more point, one more point. There is nothing in the universe which happens out of us. We are all there is. Everything happens within me. I move perception within me. I am 
uh, infinite and eternal. Infinite means everything moves within me. And there will come time uh, when uh, people will be able also, uh, many people, of course, uh, to hide their body consciously into the higher quantum dimensions and to appear at by desire. So uh, uh, that people uh, will experience that they are really, really bosses of their body, that we move perception. And uh, it requires, of course, diligent practice and some rules, but it, it will be also possible. We will experience it very soon. There will be people who will demonstrate. It's fascinating. Yeah. Of course, of course. So just to summarize, I mean, the, the understanding that the, the, the true concept of the atom is not uh, a proton, neutron, electron, nucleus in the middle. It's actually, you know, uh, w and we'll put the picture up of this. It's the, it's the light ring, which looks like a donut or a torus shape uh, with empty space in the middle. Uh, and in that black empty space in the middle of that is at the geometric center is that still magnetic point. And then the light ring dives into that still magnetic point to bring the energy. No, no, dives. It, it just, just energy, it transferred to it to, to, to move the, 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 the ring around it. Hmm. Ring moves around it and takes energy from there. Look, I cannot move this finger without borrowing energy from the spirit. I'm, I now want to move this finger. Everything starts with a desire. It's so my desire to move this finger. I borrow energy from the spirit, move the finger, and move the finger back into the, uh, the same position and give repay the energy back to the spirit. So that that field of energy which spirit is, is unlimited, it's a constant. And we use it for our creation. Mm. It was mental projection, now moving perception. I am both of the energy and the new era is era about the changing attitude to the energy. Mm. Changing, so the energy is really our slave uh, in our support, in our service. Not that we are slaves of the energy as we, it was in the past. So the new era is uh, making that breakthrough and uh, really uh, starting experiencing, experiencing energy as your servant not you as servant of energy as it was in the past. It's enough of that experience. We want now, we want express our essence, which is boss of the energy. So, and that can bring so many changes to society, can't it? Because uh, well, it will rebalance course. society, because society is completely <laughs> imbalanced, because um, the one thing that, that governs our life, which is paying the bills, you know, with everyone, there's that, always that cliche about, you know, you go to work to pay the bills. Um, but that whole system is imbalanced. You know, it's the master slave, uh, you know, I've got it, you want it, you buy it, and then it's gone and so on. And then if we replace that with this energy where we're consciously creating all of the energy solutions around us and they're free, then it has this ripple effect on the whole of society whereby we change all of our aspects and our need for that money and our greed as a result of that money and everything <laughs> changes and, and becomes balanced in society and humanity um, and then hopefully the planet as well, right? So it's the ultimate positive message. If we understand from the very, very concept of the atom, uh, how everything works, how all energy works. Of course, of course, that, that is coming, that is coming, everything, we are building paradise here, mm -hmm. and that, that is for what we, 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 came, we, we come here and we, to, to build a paradise, and it, 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 we are now uh, in this new cycle, and, and everything is changing, thanks uh, to us, because we are causing changes, everything depends on us, and I please every one of you who is listening to this and uh, watching this video, Please understand that your soul, very soul, every soul is counted, is important, is important. And that is how you contribute to the freedom, to, to everything else. It is not said that everybody must make, uh, reach some, some huge inventions, breakthroughs, and so on. No, your soul, lovely soul, creates everything. It's the, all what is needed. And go and fish if you are born fisher. Or go play play badminton if you are born for, for playing badminton. It is your passion, soul passion. Do whatever is your soul passion. 
must send your you love. lovely thoughts, your good intent, and it will be manifested because of the presence of the new conscious energy on this planet, which which listens to your intention and goes into manifest. This Phenomenal. One. Well, that's that's a great place to to leave it, really. And um, uh, yeah, we'll um, we'll put the link below to um, to Lackey's paper, which was published in the International Journal of Science and Research and Research um, just a couple of weeks ago, uh, called "Aton: The True Cell, Atom, and Particle Concept." Uh, it basically gives us the platform to understand ourselves, our self, energy. Yeah. Um, how to heal, how to produce free energy in the world, how to balance radiation, um, how to get the right concepts in science so that all of the, you know, the unsolved mysteries can be solved. Um, and it just is the ultimate positive uh, message um, that unleashes our potential as human beings. So uh, unless you've got anything more that you wish to add, Lucky? I'm endlessly happy that is uh, for the first time uh, in the history of the science that they accepted God in the creation right. and fixed that uh, cardinal error that has been made by omission of the God from the creation. And now uh, God is in the creation. God has been always in the creation, but now is recognized, even in the science. And it is also important for the religion who used to teach God in the heaven, but not here on the earth. And now they will also understand that the God is in every atom is here also as it is on Sirius or some other planet, everywhere in the universe, so that we will together start changing and co-create with love of God and with goodness. That is essence of our souls. And I love all of you, my brothers and sisters. I share with love and joy and have enjoyed this uh, uh, so 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 wonderful sharing because I expand my heart and feel uh, your hearts uh, as as in my heart. That's all. You, we are brothers and sisters. I love you. I love you. Thank Fantastic. You for your Thank you, Lucky. So it is. And so it is. Bye bye.